For Comedy Hype News, I'm Nichelle Woods. Atlanta native Kenan Thompson would have found himself at a place like this, Uptown Comedy Corner in Atlanta, Georgia, during the early part of his career. Way before SNL, all that, and building an iconic comedy duo, Kenan and Kel with Kel Mitchell. If you were fortunate enough to grow up in the era where Nickelodeon airs shows like All That and Cousin Skeeter, then you'll definitely recognize Kel Mitchell. Widely known for his role as Ed in Good Burger, Mitchell instantly became a kid's show favorite. But after a quick rise to fame, he fell off the face of the earth. Some even thought literally after a rumor mass circulated on MySpace saying the actor passed away. The interesting thing is that at the same time Kel was disappearing from the entertainment scene, his old co-star Keenan was rising to fame. Keenan not only continued to star in hit movies like Fat Albert, but he also snatched a role on Saturday Night Live, which ironically Kel also auditioned for and didn't get. After so much success in his younger years, it left many wondering why Kel seemed to disappear from the scene. Here's what happened to Kel Mitchell. Kel Mitchell was born in the south side of Chicago, Illinois on August 25th, 1978. As a kid, Kel was a huge fan of In Living Color, Martin Lawrence, John Ritter, and The Rat Pack. His love for comedy translated to him often getting in trouble in school for doing stand-up comedy bits about his teachers. In a podcast interview with Mayim Balik's Breakdown, Mitchell admitted, I was that kid that would do a cartwheel to throw something away in the garbage, just to get a laugh. I kept tabs on the teachers because I wanted to know them personally so I could tell jokes about them in class, which was crazy. <laughs> and I used to get in trouble because they were like, how did you even know that? To combat his behavior problems in school and their growing concerns for Mitchell hanging around the wrong friends, his parents tried to put him into every extracurricular activity they could think of until they found one that stuck. My parents tried everything because I used to be in class just doing stand up, so I used to get in trouble. And so they were like, we need to get this kid into something. So I had friends that were on the up and up and I had friends that weren't. And I was getting to that age where they were like, okay, we need to find them something. So we tried everything, Kung Fu, guitar lessons, science classes, everything. And what really kicked off was acting. It was a community theater in my hometown and I just fell in love with it. His love for theater, which started at the ETA Creative Arts Foundation, led him to start his on-screen acting career at the age of 15, starring in the Nickelodeon series, All That. For those who don't remember, All That was a comedy sketch series, kind of like Saturday Night Live for kids, where Kel played a plethora of different characters throughout his five season run. He was often paired with co-star Kenan Thompson in sketches on the show. They put us in every sketch together because Kenan and I would always like hang out after a sketch after a show, Mitchell says. We were just hanging out, joking around and doing pranks, all that kind of stuff on set. One of Kel's most well-known characters from All That, Ed from Good Burger, earned him a spin-off major motion picture in 1997. Good Burger was Mitchell's first movie role and to this day remains one of the most iconic young adult comedies. With cameos from people like Shaq, Carmen Electra, Sinbad, George Clinton, and other stars, it was a major break for his career. When asked about his experience on Good Burger in an interview with comicbookmovie.com, Mitchell says, it was cool because we have been doing all that for a few seasons, and so all that was just as crazy as it could get with the characters and with the zaniness of it all. And so to be able to take all of that and put it into a movie, it was like a great creative playground for all of us, for the writers and the producers. It was like, yo, they're taking our show and now we're gonna put it on a big screen. That was a big moment for all of us. And I think it shares a special place in our hearts so much because it was our first time doing all of this stuff. While he was still filming All That, Mitchell also started filming Keenan and Kel alongside his All That co-star, Keenan Thompson. Keenan and Kel, which lasted four seasons, showed the misadventures of two high school students. Mitchell's character, Kel Kimball, was the optimistic yet dim-witted best friend that often caused problems with Keenan's get-rich-quick schemes. The show was a hit amongst viewers and even won favorite TV show in the 1998 Kids' Choice Awards. During the show's run, Kel was also landing so many cameo roles in shows like The Steve Harvey Show, where he appeared in four episodes, Sister Sister and Sabrina the Teenage Witch. He even appeared in a couple crossover episodes of another Nickelodeon show, Cousin Skeeter, where he played his character from Keenan and Kel. After the show ended in 2000, Mitchell's fast track career began to slow down. He landed a main voice role as T-Bone in the kids cartoon Clifford the Big Grit Dog, which have won a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Performer in an Animated Program both in 2001 and 2002. But outside of that, many of the parts he got were one-episode cameos or voice roles. 
Kel even auditioned for Saturday Night Live in 2003, but ironically lost the spot to his childhood co-star, Kenan Thompson. When asked about his audition, Mitchell claims he may have been too hype at the time and that his sketch portraying DMX if he was on Toy Story didn't go too well. After that, life began to spiral for Mitchell. Although he guest starred in six episodes of the hit series One on One in 2005, his personal life took a toll. He got divorced from his wife, Taisha Hampton, the same year. He started to turn to vices like drugs and excessive alcohol usage. In a personal blog, he expanded on the demons he was struggling with. Suicidal, divorce, drug and alcohol usage, deep in sin, dealing with the loss of his loved ones to gang violence, debt, hurt, pain, vanity, lust, heartbreak, feeling lost, looking for answers. The challenge of being a child star and navigating through life seemed to plague him. In an interview with People Magazine, Mitchell explained, as a young actor, there are ups and downs. And when you get to that down part, there are times when you feel like nobody can relate to you. When Britney Spears shaved her head, I understood that. Mitchell fell off the entertainment industry scene so hard that people started a rumor on MySpace in 2006 saying the actor had died. He even seemed to disconnect with his co-star and friend Kenan Thompson, telling TMZ that he hadn't talked to him in years. In a 2012 interview, he says, Kenan does not want to be seen with me in any form of media or even have my name mentioned around him. I've not been upset about this. I respect his choice of wanting to make a name for himself solo. But it was Mitchell's roots in the Christian faith that got him back on track. Growing up, he was the grandson of a pastor in Southside Chicago, so he made the decision to get back in the church and work as a stage manager for a non-denominational church in Los Angeles. He told People Magazine, I was trying to figure it out all on my own, he said, but what I needed to do was turn to him. Once I found that clarity with Christ, I knew everything would work out. Things began to pick up for Mitchell as he started to land more gigs like his main voice role in Wild Grinders created and produced by Rob Dyrdek from 2012 to 2015. He even made a return to Nickelodeon in 2015, starring in the show Game Shakers created by Dan Schneider, the former producer of his debut show, All That. In Game Shakers, Mitchell plays the role of Double G, a hip hop mogul that goes into business making music and apps with two young app developers after they use the music without his permission. In an interview with Time, Mitchell talks about being on Nickelodeon again. It's a great network. I've been around them for years, so it's fun to be back. And then also to be working with Dan Schneider again, because it's one of those dream come true roles. I also rap and dance and sing myself. So with the character, I get to do all those things at once. The show lasted three seasons and ended in 2019. That same year, Mitchell became a licensed pastor and began serving as a youth pastor at Spirit Food Christian Center in Winnecta, California. In December of 2019, Mitchell tweeted, Blessed and thankful for my Spirit Food family and thank you, Pastor Ziegler, for seeing the calling of God on my life and trusting me with your youth department. Hashtag Soulful Sunday, hashtag All God. Most recently, he made a cameo appearance in the 2022 Emmy Awards that Kenan Thompson hosted. In a brief skit where Thompson was helping out the honorary bartender by taking some of the celebrities' orders, Mitchell shocked the audience by turning around and asking for a good burger. Then they embraced each other with a reunion that warmed pretty much every millennia's heart. When asked about a possible sequel to the iconic Good Burger, Mitchell alludes to its possibility saying, you know, we've been talking about it, Keenan and I, we're all about it, but we're letting them work it out contractually and all the stuff like that. But yeah, me and Keenan, we're down. With classics like Keenan and Kel and Good Burger still circulating with high views on streaming services like Netflix to this day, Kel Mitchell is still known as a 90s comedy icon. Although he had a brief moment of being gone from the public eye, it is safe to say that Kel certainly cannot and will not be forgotten. Since I'm here at Uptown Comedy Corner, I'ma stay and get a few laughs tonight. Let me find out who's headlining. For Comedy Hype News, I'm Nichelle Woods.